All right, folks, Matrix Live, welcome. Uh, welcome to Matrix Towers as ever, coming at you from uh, Chiswick, the capital of the world. Now, last month, we flew Timo um, into Brazil. That's uh, no expense spared. Um, we didn't spend any money on that, by the way. Uh, but this time, we have managed to get Doug in real life. He's come by canoe, probably, uh, and he's going to uh, talk you through uh, <coughs> support in Elmenex and Excitingly, Hermanix. Okay, um, so hopefully you can see my screen. Um, I am going to go over um, Permalinks, which we added last month now, so hopefully everyone's had time to um, try this out, but if not, we'll just run through it. Um, and then I'll um, show you what um, call kit should look like um, when you receive a call in the background um, through Hermanix. Um, so I'm going to start off with Permalinks, which if I find my room... <coughs> Um, so permalinks, we've um, adding the feature has unlocked quite a lot of functionality in various different areas. Um, so the most basic one is if I tap this link at the bottom here, it should just scroll me up to um, a message that's already loaded in the timeline. So it's literally just highlighting it, showing you what it was, um, and scrolling you up the timeline. Um, then if I actually have a, a link like the this one here. Um, this is a link to another room. So if I tap on that, we're going to push into the room. Um, should have some content. There we go. Um, and so the, the room is pushed on top of the previous room, so we can always go back. Um, and again, if we keep repeating this, so this, this um, here is a link to a message within another room, I will push and it will load content and show me that. Um, so now we have Three levels, three levels deep of the um, of the navigation, so we can quickly go backwards and forwards. Um, what this link has always do also done as well um, is we're now no longer at the bottom of the timeline, so we've loaded a detached <coughs> timeline focused on that event, which was something we couldn't do before. And the Rust team spent an awful lot of time uh, making this work really well. So it's just a, 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 an easy API to say, give us a new timeline. Um, and so yeah, so then we can load anywhere in the anywhere in the history and, and highlight that for you. Um, so that's basic. Um, that's basics of there. Um, something else that it's letting us do is if I open up a room with threads or replies. Um, now that we've got the ability to jump back, I can now jump through a thread just by tapping on um, by tapping on the little white area. And we're my way through, which makes threads a lot more usable on Element X. Um, and then, of course, we can we can get to these from external links. So exactly the same. If I've got a link that's gone through an email or a, a message elsewhere, um, I can tap on a room link, and it will open the room. I can tap on an event link, and it will open the room and highlight that event. Um, and I can also tap on a user link. Um, which will show me their profile, and if I've got a message with them, I can message them. Um, I think only if I've got a um, DM set up with them, I can call them. Otherwise, I can share it. Um, and yeah, that's permalinks. Um, so hopefully that makes life a lot better. Yes. <laughs> um, then next, um, call kit. So we've now got the ability when you receive a call and the app is in the background, uh, we can show a ringing screen on the phone. Theoretically, this works well, but with screen capture, things have been going a bit iffy. So I'm going to try it and see what happens. Fingers crossed. Um, so from another device here, uh, I'm just going to send a message to make sure we're working. And can I see a notification? Yep. So I'm now going to start a call to this device. You should see. Maybe. No, we don't. Uh, again. There we go. Um, so um, I've now got the phone ringing. Uh, I can tap on it to make it big. And if I hit, hit accept, and I think this is where it possibly stops working. Yeah, so on my phone itself, I can now see I'm in the call. For some reason, the screen capture freezes at that point. Um, but so yeah, you will no longer uh, miss a call if someone rings you whilst you've got your phone um, in your pocket. And just to prove that, let's just see if I lock the phone. 
and then do another call. It should, in theory, wake up the phone. Put something up. It's going to work. No. no. Okay. Well, it does. Like, it, I think there's something with the screen showing that. Oh, there we oh. go. Things are going. Is that it? Oh. Cool stuff. Hmm. Let's give it one more try. Ah, there we go. Um, so from here, you can straight from your lock screen, you can just um, swipe to unlock and join the call. So that is cool kit. Um, I'll have an X. Um, you should also see now. So we've added these nice little timeline items so you can see when calls have been happening within a room as well, um, which is really nice. So um, I think this was only merged a few days ago, um, but we might need to do a little bit more testing on it, but it should be available in the next release candidate. So yeah, that's everything. Very cool. Yay! Hey. Can Jack notifications on the normal elements now because that was the only reason I was clicking them <laughs> Yeah. So this is still element call notifs rather than normal white ones. So if somebody calls you one to one with the legacy stuff, uh, yeah, it will yeah. still not work. Yeah. So you need to get everybody on element call first. No pressure, element call team. I think I introduced that as element X earlier. So apologies for that. And Gail, thanks for trying to save my uh, save my blushes. All right, uh, Matrix Live. Uh, that's your lot. Thanks all. Sorry for running. Happy weekend, everybody. Bye-bye.